Okay, we're getting ready to paint a vanity. I'm here with my niece. She's gonna spray the plastic down along the carpet because we are gonna protect the floors. It's too humid and cool outside to paint, so we're gonna paint right here in the maker room. And so as I said, we'll go ahead and begin and cover the floor and protect it. Okay, we're getting ready to paint this beautiful vanity here that she found. You want to tell them about it? She found curbside, and this is an excellent find. It is extremely heavy, very durable piece of furniture. As you can see, they've already stripped it, and my hands are ashy because they're clean. I just washed them. Yeah. So this is the vanity, and we're going to get started. Um, right along these edges here. So if you can't see you all, that's my niece over there on the floor. <laughs> this is her vanity, and that's who she's doing it for herself. And I'm just bringing her along on the process. So have you done any furniture like this to this degree before? No. Okay. So I like to ask before I go saying this is her first time or, you know, doing something like this. She's painted furniture before, I'm sure, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. But she's going to give it a good sanding so she gets a really smooth finish on the piece. So we have some little edges here that are still kind of rough, so we wanted to sand those off. Again, as I said, it was a curbside find. And if you notice the top, we are going to go ahead and paint it. But what we had to do was prime it and I primed it three times. I also add, added a coat of shellac but the oil that was on top of it kept coming through so we went with one color for the beginning as you will see coming up in the video and then we switched it out and went ahead with a dark color. So the legs are a little wobbly and so we're going to go ahead and tighten those up before we begin to paint. She's going to tighten But she uses all of these different little Allen wrenches. Wrenches, wrenches. Put extra because it's on top of the sheet, the painter's sheet, and plastic is under that. And then we want to just go ahead and cover that so we won't get the wrinkles that'll mess up the paint in between. Here's the paint, and I used this paint before on another cabinet this past summer, and we're going to use this again because this is the color that she chose that she wanted to use. So and normally I have a box on the floor too where I keep the paint, but I'll move it uh, to a safe spot over here. Okay. And again, this is the color she chose from what we had on hand because we didn't want to go out and purchase anything as she is using this as a curbside find as well as a teaching moment where she is learning. Start with the bottom of the feet first on the piece. We're going to start down low and then we'll come back up to the top. Fuller, saturated. So I'm just telling her again, as you can see, using a roller is really, really good because it gives a excellent smooth finish. And especially if you have a really good paint, which makes a whole lot of difference as well. So she's just getting her roller saturated. And normally I like to start with a moist roller. So I like to wet my roller first, get it moist, and then go in with my paint. So you just go in with your leg. And then I'll roll over it too many times because I what it'll do is pull the paint off. You 
roller again and go around these edges here. So this is what the table is looking, the vanity is looking like thus far. And since it's not, it's a composite wood skew. Okay, she wants to paint. If it was wood, she wanted to keep it natural wood. But since it's not completely made of natural wood, we're gonna have to go ahead and paint it. But she wants a lighter color than the body of the vanity. So we're gonna go ahead and paint the top of it in age gray and this is the portion that i was speaking of before we went ahead and went in with the top coat of the age gray color to give it a coat but yes the oil that was already staining the composite did bleed through so we went in with several coats of primer which did not help at all and sometimes that does happen uh, we got to a point where I just put a shellac, a coat of shellac over it and then coated it with the primer again. And then I went in with the blue paint just to get it done. <laughs> and it still looked absolutely beautiful. I added these gold knobs to the front of the dresser, well rather the vanity. And it was only two as you can see here, great storage. And it had an excellent height to it as well as you can see coming up here in the video along with a wide area for you to be able to put a full-size chair in between the legs so that when you are sitting there as she will be doing doing her makeup and such getting ready for the day that it provides that area for a chair to sit very comfortably and do whatever it is that you're doing the next thing you'll see is coming up is a lamp that I will be showing you two lamps a pair and decorating that and showing you how I styled it so stay tuned in for the entire video As you hear it, it just snaps down. And then this portion, I like this, collapsible, easy to store. And then right here along the side, it has Velcro. I like the fact that you can store them away easily with this feature because you can take it apart and put them away without worrying about storing a really huge lampshade. And there's your complete lampshade. I'll provide a link down below for these lamp set that I got from Jayless and they sent them to me just to do a quick review on them. They're a touch control modern lamp set with a USB charging port that is right in front of the lamp. They are great, excellent bedside. You don't have to use extra plugs or cords. It sits right here in front of you and they are very easy to assemble. complete assembly of the lamp. I hope you all have enjoyed this video with these two stylings of the vanity with the makeover and then these two lamps that I'll be adding into the hallway. So as always, happy holidays. Stay inspired, motivated, and moving, creating something beautiful. If not for yourself, then definitely for someone else. 
stay inspired and keep the faith. This has been Chanel and I'll see you all for the next one.